All right, I'm going to turn the matter over to uh, Mark Finkelstein, a, a longtime friend of mine and also the immediate past president of the Wake County Bar Association. He's here to uh, make some remarks to you and he'll introduce our guest speaker as well. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm Mark Finkelstein, immediate past president of the 10th Judicial District Bar. I bring greetings from our president, Brian Beverly, who is uh, in Chicago, zealously representing his client, which is what we do for a living. So he's where he needs to be. Uh, congratulations to all of you. Uh, welcome to the 10th Judicial District Bar. Those of you who reside in Wake County will automatically become members not only of the State Bar, but also of the 10th Judicial District Bar. And uh, there is a related organization that I wish to make a very strong pitch to you uh, regarding today and that is the Wake County Bar Association, which is the voluntary uh, organization uh, that does so much great work in our community. The, uh, the one thing I want you to be sure to take away from my brief remarks today is that your membership in the, 10th, uh, in the Wake County Bar Association for this year is free. So please take advantage of that. The truth is, for old gray-haired people like me, the Wake County Bar Association pays for itself in free CLEs and uh, camaraderie, our monthly lunches, the public service opportunities we have, uh, which includes an expungement clinic at Campbell Law School at Tuesday, this Tuesday at 5. If you don't have other things to do, there are lots of people in the community who could use uh, your newly licensed uh, uh, skills, um, and you don't need to be trained, you will get trained. Um, so please take advantage of the Wake County Bar Association. It's a great way of meeting lawyers and judges. It's a great way of participating in athletic events. Um, and it's a great way of improving professionalism. Um, the, um, among the things that's, that is offered through the Wake County Bar Association and the 10th Judicial District Bar is a now national award-winning uh, uh, mentorship program. Uh, the, the second thing I would like for you to take away from my brief remarks is that don't go out there alone. Uh, there are people with gray hair who will be very welcoming of your questions and willing to help. Um, if you have ethics questions, you can call the state bar and they are, they are helpful. Um, I know for some folks you may not have a job currently or a mentor. Um, make sure you get a mentor. Uh, the, uh, you're also joining a spectacular tradition in the Wake County Bar. This bar has, has won more national awards than any bar of its size. You're just great paragons of practice that you can learn from. Um, and I'll leave that piece with sort of a, a couple of rules. Uh, Robert L. McMillan, who was the first recipient of the Branch Professionalism Award, um, our highest award in the Wake County Bar, uh, has always said in terms of legal ethics, if you have to ask yourself whether you should do something ethically, don't do it. It's a, a great rule. Um, former Judge Fred Morlock indicated that uh, as an advocate, emphasize the facts with your judges. The chances are they know the law a whole lot better than you do, so focus on the facts. Uh, and. Um, Duncan McMillan, who is to be awarded the Branch Professionalism Award at the lunch first Tuesday in November, which all of you are entitled to go to for free with your free membership in the Wake County Bar Association, is famously uh, noted for saying, when all else fails, read the statute. So another great piece. And I'll just add, again, there's no reason to be out there alone. Um, they're the state bar, you're paying state bar dues. One of the joys, one of those great benefits you get of putting your hand and, and uh, taking the oath today. Um, so the folks in the ethics council at the state bar are really, really good at answering practical questions. So don't forget to use it. Um, and similarly, don't forget the various mentorship opportunities that are out there. Join the Wake County Bar 
find a, find a mentor, make the world a better place, as it were.